Hi, this is Andrew from www.standupsingle.com, a brand new blog devoted to Major League Baseball. And welcome to the very first video blog entry for StandUpSingle.com. Today's video blog is about the movie A League of Their Own. Any avid baseball fan will tell you that one of the things that they love the most about baseball are baseball movies, and A League of Their Own is no exception. A League of Their Own, of course, is the movie directed by Penny Marshall that came out in 1993 that's about the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League that was formed during the 1940s when most American men were off fighting uh, World War II, and of course that included many of the uh, Major League pl Baseball players. Uh, the specific thing that I want to discuss today, though, is is the theme song from the film. Something I've always been curious about is uh, whether this song was written for the movie or whether it was written by players who actually played in the league as it's portrayed in the film. I was delighted to find out that uh, through their Wikipedia page for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League that the song was indeed written by two members of the league by the names of Pepper Pear and Nalda Bird. Uh, the two women didn't play on the same league, so I, and I was unable to find out if the song was commissioned uh, by them, or excuse me, commissioned uh, through them, or if it was simply a matter of these two women got together and decided to write a song. Uh, the song, I, I think, captures not only the spirit of the film, but really the spirit of uh, the league and what these women were doing and uh, really um, the hard work and uh, the devotion they had to their craft. Uh, the uh, One of the great things about today's technology is that actually you can find on YouTube many examples of original members of this league performing this song. Uh, one of the things that I found in, in doing my research is that the song has changed somewhat over the years and, and um, I believe specifically changed for the film. Uh, the song has originally had a much simpler melody, uh, which was a little more monotonous, but a lot easier to sing, and um, didn't necessarily involve any harmonies like you saw in the movie. Uh, there are videos online that uh, you'll find that it sounds eerily like the, like the film, and the reason for that is because, while yes, the original members of the league are singing the song, uh, it's also um, they're singing it over a track that is from the film. Uh, one particular video, though, that doesn't include that, that I would encourage you to check out is uh, if you if you uh, search on YouTube A A A A G B P L excuse me um, that's not easy to say uh, A A G P B L in Mary Pratt singing you'll find a video that uh, shows a woman named Mary Pratt leading uh, several members original members of the All American Girls Professional Baseball League uh, in a chorus of the theme song for the uh, for the league and then also uh, in the same video right afterwards there is a song uh, that was also written for the league that's not as well known uh, both songs are great uh, the second song is a little more lighthearted but it really was a a very inter interesting glimpse into uh, the time and uh, and also into uh, what these women really felt about what uh, about what they were doing and the and the baseball that they were playing. Uh, if you haven't seen A League of Their Own, I certainly encourage you to go out and see it. Not only is it a, is it a great baseball film, but it is truly a film that uh, is um, certainly something important in, in American history. Uh, it doesn't deal a lot with the, with World War II, but it certainly shows um, what this country was going through at that time. And also, it gives you an idea of uh, something that's uh, really unique to the to the United States. And once again, with the All American Girls Professional Baseball League. Uh, finally, um, if you've seen the movie already, I certainly encourage you watch it again. It's a great film. I watch it about once every year, and honestly, uh, it never gets old. And the performances are absolutely spectacular by Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Lori Petty, David Strathairn, Gary Marshall. Uh, the list goes on and on of this. Uh, and you'll even if you uh, take just a moment, you'll spot Taya Leone doing uh, a little bit of hitting in the film, although she doesn't speak. And of course, Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell are in the film as well and uh, really play scene stealing parts. Uh, once again, thank you for taking the time to uh, to check out this blog. I encourage you to visit www.standupsingle.com uh, for a lot more blog entries, uh, more of the written form. And uh, you'll find that a lot of them were devoted to the St. Louis Cardinals, which, of course, you can see is my favorite 
team. Um, but also a lot of them are about baseball in general. Um, one of my most recent blogs is about the debate between who is the better catcher, Buster Posey or Yadier Molina. I certainly encourage you to check that out as it's one of the most hotly contested debates in, in, uh, in the current uh, state of Major League Baseball. And it's also um, really uh, an, an evenly matched contest in, in, in many, many ways. But uh, you'll find that uh, in this year in particular, there's a, there's a right and wrong answer to that question. And I think you can probably see where I would head with that. Well, once again, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to, to uh, watch this blog. And uh, thank you so much for your time.